So, technically, I am a man under all intents purposes of the law who has been sexually assaulted by police officers in jail. When you say those things honestly, police officers don't just go, oh, let's take the policeman to jail. They don't do that. They actually start to hit you harder. My body has been shaved illegally and immorally by women in the black community and rich dyke women. I know this because my friends watched them commandeer me. It was hard for them to watch it and go through it. But now I've got a YouTube channel that doesn't recognize that people age. I've lost my hair. I've chosen to become a priest and my beard is long, but it's not anymore. My hair has been cut off of my face by some immoral person who thought they had the right to commandeer a body and treat me as a slave. America is not full of slavery anymore and YouTube as a channel doesn't have the right to abuse someone's records or abuse them as a liar of America. I'm not a liar of America. I have lived my life, predominantly my whole life, this way. In other words, allowing myself to age naturally. I have absolutely lost 16 inches off my waist, so my face doesn't look the same as it once did. My entire being is thinner, except I had a right to the safety and sanctity and the security of my naked body. And local sheriff in the Indianapolis department didn't think I did. I gave all the names to the person in the White House. We'll see what happens to them. My life was protected during the election time when I was being requested as a part of my political consulting possibility of career to review some things. And while the hackers of the local police department were hacking my computers, the government was resetting it. The children of America are lying to themselves about their rights. I'm a firm believer that we have entitlement thinking going on all across America. I'm entitled to do this to you because I own your ass. No, you don't. I am not a slave of a black person. I'm not a slave of a police officer. But I can tell you there's a faggot in almost every company that wants to sexually assault someone, and I didn't want to believe that. There's a faggot police officer who's assaulting me. I go to sleep and they cut more of my beard. I go to sleep and they shave my body. I go to sleep and I should be able to wake up, but someone wants to mental health me because they don't want to admit to what the liars of America who are Muslim do to people like you and me. I can tell you that illegal technologies are being utilized all across America today. And openly, Mexicans and others utilize those things. Why is it that my staff are now shorter? Why is it that my clothes are now ripped? Why is it that I'm experiencing a hate crime? I'd really like to know. But I'd really like my life back. And more importantly, I'd like my late Japanese spouse back. But that didn't happen because siblings thought they had rights to me. And people who are total strangers think they have the right to abuse me and possibly you. But because it's not happening to you, because it's not happening to your genitalia, because it's not happening to your body, you don't want to believe it. And YouTube doesn't want to promote it because YouTube is a mega monster in the social media world. But you see, the advantage of being mega is that you can sue illegal people. The disadvantage of being mega is that you often abuse little people who did nothing wrong.